Hi everyone, Vicki Waco here and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video we're going to, if you can tell by the description, talking about things I have gotten from the Dollar Tree specifically as I'm preparing to have jaw surgery in just over a month. I'm not sure when this video is going live so it might be a little less than a month but on May 19th I'm going in for jaw surgery. So over the course of the next month and really two, three months, I'll be talking more about the surgery, why I'm getting it done, and kind of how I'm preparing or dealing with it post. So um, today particularly, what I've been doing is kind of like researching the surgery, finding other people on YouTube, finding blogs, finding different things, and seeing what people thought were helpful for them when they had the surgery. So let's get into this. Um, and like I said, this is all Dollar Tree supplies. So the first thing, and this is so weird, but are these bottles? And guys, I have, I bought in a ton of them. Um, because when I did look them up on Amazon, they were cheaper. Um, because it's a two pack for a dollar at Dollar Tree than getting them on Amazon. Now what I've heard these are good for is one, just eating. Um, so when you have jaw surgery, your jaw, I'll have like, um, rubber band so my I won't have full range of motion in my jaw for quite some time so what people say they do is they cut these so they can eat out of it because you're gonna be eating a lot of like soups and liquid type things um, the other thing I heard that a lot of people have said is helpful is keeping one always stocked with water because um, you you know water and flushing your system really helps with healing so that's really a big priority. So I got six of them. I might go back and buy a few more um, because I feel like once they kind of get really dirty, we're just going to want to throw them out. But yeah, a lot of these and that, like I said, it was a pretty good deal, um, especially right now because they're like have all their grill stuff out. So all those. The next thing I heard a lot of people say is that their lips get very, very dry because you can't close your mouth the way you want to. You have a hard time breathing, so your lips just become very dry. So what I've gotten, um, I've bought a couple different types of lip balm from Dollar Tree. People say you go through a ton. So like Carmax is like a classic, the Vaseline one, Blistex. I have some at home already. I have a lip oil at home I'm hoping might help, but I just picked up a couple because I know I'm going to want them all around when I'm healing. The other thing I got for my lips and really just dryness in general is just some like uh, petroleum jelly which it was in the baby stuff, again, for my lips. Um, people say sometimes, like, the underside of their nose gets very dry, um, just for dryness in general. The one thing I didn't pick up, but if you needed it, I would recommend is, like, lotion, too, because I imagine you're going to be dehydrated at points and dried out. I have a ton of lotion right now in my house. I'm actually trying to, like, move through some of my supplies, so... I didn't pick any of that up, but you might want to get that also. Um, speaking of nose, one of the things a lot of people say is you get very, very congested post-surgery. And they do at the hospital or wherever you have the surgery done, medical center, give you like a decongestion spray to bring home. But a lot of people recommend getting some of your own. So because I'm not sure how much I'll need, truthfully, like if... I'll have this issue or not. Some people might not. I just picked up two from the Dollar Tree. Um, just severe decongestion um, spray, nasal spray. And again, these were each a dollar. On Amazon, I found one, but it was like six, seven dollars. So I figured this is at least a good place to start. If I run out of what's from the hospital, I'll have something handy. If it doesn't work well, I can at least, you know, prime something to me. The next thing is, is this caddy, and this was an idea I came up with because I don't know where I'm going to feel most comfortable. Maybe I'll want to sit outside, maybe I'll be in my bed, maybe I'll be in my living room. Um, so what I wanted was, you know, I always talk about this with organization, like mental organization, but physical organization too. You need a container to hold the things, and that container can change, but, so I like this one because it does have a handle. Um... And I can put like, you know, my 
chapsticks, my water, the decongestion spray, and a couple other things I'll show you in here. So wherever I'm at, I'll have all the things that hopefully will make me feel comfortable moving forward um, in my healing. The next things, um, this one's another weird one. So originally I was looking for like one of those dish panned, you know, like those big white dish pan things. I couldn't find, I went to three different Dollar Trees, couldn't find any, but I found this and I thought this would work. This is going to be a little gross, guys, sorry, but if you are prepping for draw surgery, one of the things I heard a lot of people say is that, especially in the first week or so, you're kind of learning how to swallow, you're learning how much you can eat at a time, you're basically kind of lear relearning those things, so you want something to put under your mouth. So that if you spit up as you're eating, if you cough up stuff because you don't swallow right while you're eating, it doesn't get all over you. It goes into a, a container, right? A container for the things. And so I thought this would work really well. Plus I like that it does have a lid so if it does get stuff in it, I can bring it into the kitchen and clean it out without spilling anything. So that one. Uh, the next thing is more stuff kind of in that food eating related topic. Um, I think I've talked about, I don't use makeup wipes on my face because they're really not good for you. Um, but what I got was I got simple clean Huggies wipes. So like a wet wipe, but yeah, they're diaper ones, but they work for anywhere. And also some, also some um, makeup removal wipes and really what these are for is that in case something spills like if I have stuff on my chin um I just want to be able to kind of keep my face clean so I thought these would be good for that or like my hands get wet I just want something so if I am feeling really sick if I'm feeling really sore I don't have to worry about getting up to go to the bathroom right away I can kind of do something quickly and then later on go to the bathroom and actually clean clean myself clean clean Sure, clean, clean. Uh, the other thing is I will be home for about 20 days-ish, I think is my plan. I, I'm still kind of working that out, but I did grab some, I think I showed these in a haul, uh, just some bath, bath bomb type things, like bath salts that I thought would be fun just to kind of like sit in a bath and relax and kind of um, just soothing while I'm healing. The last thing is another like, food, eating, mouth related thing. Of course, it's jaw surgery. It's all about the mouth in this case. And it's kids toothbrushes. So what I've heard is that obviously your range of motion is a lot less. So these are a lot easier to get into your mouth to like brush your teeth with than an adult toothbrush. So I got some of these. I also got a couple of things from Amazon too in this area. So I might do a separate haul of all the Amazon things I've gotten if you'd be curious about that. And I'll let you know what I use and what I don't use. I don't know. I've never had this surgery. So this is just going off recommendations from other people and um, trying to find things that were not too expensive because a lot of the stuff like I'm going to throw out after surgery. So I don't want... You know, I didn't want to spend a boatload of money on any of this. I already had to pay a lot of money for my braces to get ready for the surgery. The other thing that I didn't buy, because I had something similar at home, but I think would be a really good idea, and I'm not hoping it's a good idea, is a laundry basket, or I just have like a big, big basket to put like your comfy clothes or the things you're going to want or things that you know you'll want to change into. I got this ex idea actually from someone that did a video post having a baby and she put all of those like postpartum things that she was going to need for herself in this big basket so that when she was waking up or you know it was just easy grab and go for her and I thought that would be good for me because I think I'm going to be in a lot of pain. I imagine I'm going to be in a lot of pain and just having the things right there ready so I can just like change when I need to uh, I thought would be really helpful. So if you don't have something lying around already maybe picking up one of those dollar laundry baskets might be good for you. So that's all my stuff. Uh, if you are having jaw surgery and want to see I'll do a couple more videos on this. I'm 
excited and nervous all at the same time. So um, I will be documenting my journey. Also, I am um, investing in some new equipment. I wasn't sure how much I would do with YouTube. So I am going to have some better video quality coming up very soon. So excited for that. But thanks so much for watching. If you're curious to follow along, you know, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and of course, give me a thumbs up. Bye.